Hey, what's happening guys? Chris Chapman here. Sitting up here at Pine View Reservoir up the canyon here in Utah, up Ogden Canyon. All the leaves are gone, it's chilly. Right now we got a storm system moving in. It's supposed to be, it's up here right now about 48 degrees. A little chilly. All the pretty leaves are already gone. There's a couple right up there, but cloudy as it is I don't know if you can see it or not but I'm doing this I had a bunch of people and you know, I talked to you about my bike and when everything I was getting done to it a 95 cubic inch big bore and new exhaust the works and got her back got the brake in miles in on it and so I thought I'd come up here and people had asked about it wanted to see more of the bike she's hammered you guys all know 170,000 about 173,000 plus miles on it upper ends brand new um i take a lot of people for rides it's been hit a couple of times in parking lots tipped over never with me on it though luckily you can see front fender been crunched it's got some battle wounds my headlights been hit by a rock and you can see i got a little hole right here I got little dings all over here and stuff. That was from a tornado that we rode through, me and my son, in 2005 in Wright, Wyoming, on our way to Sturges for the motorcycle rally. And I got dings and pings from the hell and stuff from my gas tanks. You can see a couple of them here, and some up in there. And you can see some battle wounds and stuff. Well, there's the motor. There she is. That's the heart and soul of my life right here. That's my baby. Somebody decided they needed my winter riding gear better, so they busted out my latches and stuff. Got some new ones ordered. They just haven't got here yet. But you can see, I'm on my third seat. It's got some wear and tear. Seat speakers are all getting busted out and stuff. I guess you could say, in a way, she's turning into my own little rat bike. <laughs> I got another one of them at home already. So, this is her. This is Cherry. Those of you who haven't heard the story, she's named Cherry after a song by Neil Diamond called Cherry Cherry. If anybody's familiar with Neil Diamond's song, Cherry Cherry, it's about a lover that he just goes with. They can go wherever they want. They're going to create their own lightning. It doesn't matter who's going to be there or stuff. They're just going to do their own thing. And if you go and look it up on YouTube or whatever and listen to the words and stuff, you'll understand my feelings towards this motorcycle. And why she's aptly named Cherry. Which is kind of funny because a lot of people don't know that my dog, Cherry, my yellow Labrador that you guys have all seen in my videos, is also named Cherry. Because when we got him, my son decided he wanted to name our dog after my motorcycle. So, hence her name Cherry. <laughs> so, kind of cool, but... I got the new pipes on her and stuff. I'll fire it up, let you listen to her here. Just standing here, she's not too loud. Got a nice, nice sound to her. But I'll tell you what, she sure does get up and go. Listen to that little potato, 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 potato. That's how they say it. So this is it. This is my baby. Brings me up to places like this, even this time of year. When it's not the prettiest, it's still beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous up here. Even in the clouds. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and head home. I've still got about an hour and a half ride to get home. Kind of took a little bit of an extended ride up through Idaho and over here. So, 
You guys have a great weekend, and I will talk at you later. Thanks. Bye.